previously on. Looking for a meal? See Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diner in the atrium. Thank you so much. How did you know it was a fat ass? I love food. Look at you, blending in with that vault suit. Look at you, just standing around the corner wasting time. Like, whatever. His name is Ashes, and he's the best cat in the whole world. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Yeah. Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Aw, oh, poor pussy. All right. Hey, Doc. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? Damn, I just got here and already you want my goods? Why do you need medical samples? It's for my research. Mm -hmm. The people of Vault 81 have been genetically isolated from the Commonwealth for many generations. I'm trying to determine what the genetic variation is between the two populations. Sure. You can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. I just realized something. Drawing blood requires needles. Sit there. And I hate needles. Oh my god, I should have said no. Is it too late this to run away? This take a sec. Hmm. Good thing I have Ada with me to, to comfort me. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank oh, you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Okay. Not bad. And I see there's another doctor here. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Do you get a lot of patients in the vault? No. The people of this vault are surprisingly healthy. If that's all, I have work to do. Okay, whatever. Don't care. So, hello, my Fallout 4 viewers. This is Lover of Ladies. And I know you have a question for me in terms of, bro, what the hell happened? How come you didn't upload last friday well that is a very good question so i had some sort of technical difficulties since the playstation decided to delete all my saves on this game don't try anything damn i just walked past you bro calm down so, the PlayStation decided to delete a good three weeks worth of saves for this Fallout 4 game. So, as of right now, I've been playing catch up on a lot of these missions. Which, thankfully, when you do see this, it means that I did catch up on the main quest that I was focusing on. I know I'm going to have to repeat some of the other quests I've done previously, but I'll do that on my own time since it doesn't make sense for me to show you my redoed quest, so. But thankfully, I'm pretty happy that I'm able to at least fix that. And I know mistakes happen, and I'm trying not to beat myself up for it since, you know, I'm very particular with making sure everything's scheduled. But at the end of the day, I have enough videos where at least if something like that happens again, you guys have time to catch up. Since I know I upload constantly, but I just love YouTubing, so when stuff like that happens, I get sad. But I'm happy that I'm able to at least deliver this new video, and yeah, let's get to it at this point. So, I'm in this vault with Ada. And I just saved Hi, this girl's you? cat. So right now I'm just checking out the must vault. Be that new traveler Gwen let in. It's always nice to see a new face around here. Who's Gwen? Oh, Gwen's the overseer. Oh, but sure. I could never get used to calling her that. I've known that girl since she was in diapers. 
If you need any food for the road, or just feeling hungry, you let me know. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the Commonwealth, but it'll do in a pinch. Do you run this place by yourself? Heavens no, I'd be a wreck. My husband, Mark, he helps me, though mostly with the tasting. Is it hard work feeding everyone here? It, used it is. To be easier. Back when I was young, we had more supplies than we could count. Why, well, my mother taught me some recipes that had ingredients that, well, I doubt you could find them anywhere anymore. Since we started trading, we managed well enough, but the variety? Let's just say it's more than a bit lacking. Or Maria, you're in luck because with my mods, I can give you all the ingredients you want. Have you ever thought about leaving the vault? Never. Can you imagine? Oh, born and raised right here in Vault 81. Mm, wow. It was easier back then, you know. Supplies were high, and the dangers outside were both severe and unknown. Poor Gwen didn't know what she was getting into when she accepted the role of overseer. How is Gwen doing as the overseer? It weighs on her. I can tell. We need help from the Commonwealth, but a few people, they don't care for it. Yeah. Not to mention the state of the vault. Upkeep's got people working round the clock these days. Even me. If people are going to be up all night working, they'll need a good meal to keep them going. Not today. If you say so. Take care now, dear. Wow, so... Never ends around. <clears throat> nice pit boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. Okay, cool. So, I mean, this vault looks pretty nice, but Do if they're doing... Do you suit in the Commonwealth? Or just when you visit us? Do you ask stupid questions when I'm here? Or do you do that with everyone? Like, what the fuck? Anyways. I mean, this place is very well maintained. And I don't want to start today. Okay, passive aggressive. Damn, whatever. All right, it seems uh, like. I have some to spare. Thank you, Ada. It seems like everyone's going to bed since no one's here. Uh, let me just double check here. I can definitely see the overseers see what they want. Damn, she's just painting. Okay, let me just check this out here. Hello. We got a barber here if you need it. I, not saying you do. No, I'm good, buddy. Pardon me, officer. Watch yourself. Right. Okay, bye. Oh, Gwen! I know you're sleeping, but I'm gonna bother you because I really Hello, don't care. Hello, overseer? I really don't care about personal space, so... Clearly, since I'm waking you up in the middle of your sleepy time, so... Some of our residents aren't as thrilled about outsiders as most, so please, don't think they speak for all of us. Overseer. If you haven't already, you should stop by the classroom. Katie would love to have you speak to her students. Okay, cool. So, I can definitely talk to Katie. But the thing is, I think everyone's going to bed. What time is it? 2.56 a.m. No wonder everyone's going to bed. Just a heads up, if you notice my voice being a little strange, a never ends in it's because I'm a little sick as well, so it's crazy. Being sick, technical issues, if it's not one thing, it's the other, seriously. Everything's under control. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look around some more because this place is pretty nice. Or should I wait? Who knows? Ooh, what's this? Reactor? Hmm. Ah. So this is their generator, I guess. Nice. And I got two people there, standing there, not acting suspicious at all, you know? 
definitely not acting suspicious. Please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. Thank you, Rusty, for giving away my location. Staying pretty busy these days? Quite so. Mr. DeLuca has made it his life's work to occupy my time. Not only do I specialize in reactor maintenance, but now I am trained in doing his laundry, teaching libations, Damn. and generally picking up after him. So you're a slave. Does he help out with any of the work? If memory serves, the last bit of work he performed was when Mr. Whittaker forced him to clean up the supply room. He was also quite vocal about his distaste for the job. Yeah, he sounds like a jerk. Whatever. Hey, so. Outsider, do me a favor. If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. I like how you're telling me this while he's right behind you. Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get clean. I don't think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. Damn. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Why would you feed his habit? He's yeah. my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy. I feel better. Done. Now that it's getting out of control, it's another story. He wants to put me at risk. He gets cut off. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Okay, so you're a drug dealer. And you're complaining about supplying your brother the drugs. Because he's using too much. Tina, you're a dumbass. Hey, the outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. Shut the hell up. I know you're a junkie. Don't act like nothing just happened between you and e between me and your sister. Like, where am I? Generator room. Can't you tell? Look, I I'm not even sure if you're allowed in here. Most of the trading's done in the atrium. I can tell you how to get back if you want. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? You're asking me for jet? Knowing that your sister's right behind me, bro. I'm not a dealer. I don't sell drugs. Hey, forget I asked. Seriously. And if you could keep this little conversation under wraps, I'd appreciate it. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. Don't forget what I said. If he gets me in trouble, he'll never hear the end of it. Bro, Fallout 4 logic, like... Look at this. This is nice. All right, whatever Bobby, at this point. This vault would fall apart if I wasn't here to tell old Rusty to fix it. Right. Hi, Tina. Tired of working. Tired of this vault. All right, let me leave. Um, excuse me, Rusty. So, we got a drug addict and we got Tina here doing all the druggy. Old overseer's terminal. Let me see. We'll be able to hack this. Damn. Wait a minute. I forgot. Let me... Should I do the hack? Uh, yeah, I need to do the hack. Let me see. Nah, never mind. Because I do remember I need to use one of the perks for the locksmith so I can unlock the door at this... Um, place honestly I'm about to sleep I'm just going into people's rooms randomly this is so nice I just love this bothering people alright so in this case if you we need a doctor Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. They can catch you up. 
Yeah, that's cool. Anyways, there's no bed I can sleep, basically, huh? Alright, let me see if I can wait a little bit. Uh, 4.57 a.m. Let me do this. Hold on. Is there any way I can wait? I forgot how to wait in this game. Uh, that's awkward. I, t <laughs> I totally forgot how to wait in this game. Yep, I would be the one. Well, I can certainly go and do the other quest. Whatever. Alright, time to leave. Come on, Ada. Let's go find your security beacon. That way we can go and deal with the machinist. I'm trying so hard not to sneeze right now, but it's 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 at the tip of my nose at this point. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Please take your components, ma'am. Yay, I got a toy alien and an oil can. I just love this. Your pit boy ever act up on? Yeah, don't talk to me because you're rude. Careful, honestly. Outsider. I hate when they call me that. Like, bro, I have a name. Alright, this is cute and all, but let me just... Huh. I just realized there should be a bed here somewhere I can rest. Yep. I'm gonna sleep on this dirty ass, crusty ass mattress. So let me just... I'm gonna sleep for eight hours because that is the necessary requirement to have a nice, fulfilling, energetic day, so... I guess in Skyrim you're able to wait but I don't think I'm able to do that in Fallout, so. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Alright, so now that I got a good night's sleep, I'm going to talk to the teacher. Since one of the residents requested me to talk to her. And I believe some other person as well. I definitely want to get on their good graces since a lot of these vault dwellers I think I'm like the Antichrist or something since they have such distrust in me. So Don't try anything. See what I mean? Weird distrust. You like I don't understand it. I can't believe someone has a drink. Like I get it, outside is pretty dangerous. But that doesn't mean you gotta shun out any type of possibility of figuring out what life is like outside the fault, you know? If you remain complacent because of fear or comfort, you're definitely limiting yourself. And that's pretty sad. Alright, so everyone's awake, beautiful. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Clearly. Alright, let me see if I can go to school. It's 2 or 6 p.m., so... Yes. I'm right here. Four kids and a cat. Even that cat is going to school. That's that hardcore education. Someday, I'm gonna check out the Commonwealth. Cool. If my grand lets me. Anyways. Hey, Katie. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Every waking moment is an adventure out there. Oh my. <laughs> I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Mm. Would you be willing to talk to my class? Mm, you sure? What types of stories are you looking for? Nothing too violent. Mm. I'm sure they'll have lots of questions though. Thank you so much. Great. I'm the 
on the class presentation. That's the last time I let Ash just get away from me. All right. So what do I do? Would you Sh like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children, children, listen up. We have mm -hmm. a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a Death Claw? How do you know about Death Claws? I hear stuff. Gran heard something about them from a Commonwealth guy. One of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened? Whew, yeah, what happened indeed? She said not to graphics, so... A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. Yep. Yep, that was a pain in the ass to do, I remember. I wasn't ready when the Death Claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Yeah, you betcha. Have you ever seen a Death Claw? No. Miss Katie says they're big lizards with huge claws. Don't stop now. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank yes. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Really? I love gifts. <gasps> Ooh, a comic book. Yeah. Yay, I got a comic book. I love gifts. Okay, kids, have fun I'm at school. I'm so excited Ashes is back. But he acts like nothing happened. Pretty good tour, right? The Overseer says I'm good with people. Way better than Gran. I mean, this cat. This cat. This cat is an animal. Of course it's going to act nonchalant. Okay. So let me go and see that doc. Because I know that doctor so needed to see me. Screws. She's looking pretty bad in there. Alright, is the doctor here? Yes, she is. Hello. Ah, you'll do perfectly. I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. Why? It's a new strain of mute fruit that I just developed. It should be nutritious and remove radiation poisoning. But I need a test subject to try it. Should say no more. Sure. I like fruit. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm. Now, where did I put that Geiger counter? Fresh? Okay, so let me go and start eating. Because you know what? Can I really say no to trying food? Of course not. Alright. Did it. Pardon me, Dr. Penske. Did you try the fruit? Tell me, how was it? It was good. No adverse effects. I knew it. This is good progress. I'll have to start a new batch right away. Since you've been so helpful, maybe you can help out in another capacity. You see, I need these plants to conduct my studies, and they take some special nourishment, especially the carrots. If you could keep an eye out for fertilizer while you're out in the Commonwealth, I'll be more than happy to compensate you for your efforts. Sure, I can do that. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request to the Overseer. Just bring by whatever you can find whenever you have the time. Fertilizer. Hmm. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my modded place. Take out all the fertilizer. The water pumps again. The water smells funny. And then sell it to her. See how many caps I could get. This should be funny as hell. Because I know with my mod... It has each item of the game, and I'm talking every single item of this game. And when I do pick up the item, it has like 46,000 duplicate items, so. If she's giving me money for all the fertilizer, I'm about to get hella rich at this point. 
you know, a word of advice, work smart, not hard. Am I right? I'm right. Alright, let me go to my cheat code place, and then we can give it a go. Okay, we are here. Now, she did say fertilizer, I believe. So, I'm gonna get her some fertilizer. No, that's weapons. Ammo. Protect and serve. Well, hold on, hold on, let me see. Oh! I could do that too. I'll just do... Yeah, a hundred would be enough. I hope a hundred's enough. Maybe. Alright. Time for me to go. Alright, I am here. With a hundred bags of fertilizer. Thanks to my ridiculous mods that I've installed in this game, so... Okay, I better get, like, mad money for this, because if she tries to play me and gives me, like, a hundred caps... Everything's under control. I'm gonna be livid. I see that vault suit of yours is still holding up. Uh, mind your business. See Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diner in the atrium. See, that's a nice name for a diner. The Sunshine Diner. That's pretty cool. Okay, Ada, I know what you're thinking. Damn, this... This woman is so distracted, she can't even finish a simple quest. Well, oh well. Don't judge me. Remember, no funny business. Where's she at? She in here. What the hell? Oh, look at the overseer just watching everyone. Totally not creepy at all. Anyways, let me see. Don't make any sense. Like, where is this woman? Oh, what happened? Oh, she's here. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. Okay. We have an emergency here. Oh, no. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully, she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get Damn. to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. A secret vault? Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. Damn. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there, how would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? Hell yeah. I'll do it for Austin. You have a good heart. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Oh lord. Hell yeah, let's go. Like, last thing I need is for this kid to die, because Austin's a good kid, bro. Come on, Bobby. Where's your stash, bro? Katie Finn is the teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. Did that. Been there, did that. We 
gotta hurry. So take me to the place, Bobby. The hell? Tell me we gotta hurry. You just standing there, coming up in the hole. All right, where is it? Here? Huh? Hi, Bobby. Okay. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.